Good morning. It's raining. You know what that means. It means the water is going to be really smooth and hopefully good. So long, my mind is yeah, so on the drive down, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to tell you guys a story. I'm going to tell you about the time, the first time I went on my first surf trip and it was overseas. I didn't go for your average surf trip. I went for something really crazy and out there. I planned to cycle my bike and bodyboard across Sumatra, Java, and to Bali. And I did this with a mate of mine, Ryan. All right, so we made it out of the sand pit, or the, the sand seed rather, and um, we've come onto a sort of a pathway, more of a drive. And it was possibly the best thing that I've ever done. I'd never traveled overseas before, never been to an Asian country. And we landed in Banda Aceh four year, five years after the Boxing Day tsunami that pretty much wiped out um, Banda Aceh. Yeah, so we landed in Banda Aceh, and it was so like, we were so nervous. The Indian Ocean. <laughs> yeah, this is just got off the plane now. We didn't, I'd never really filmed a big project like that before. We had these small little handy cams that, you know, were like 500 bucks each. And, but we still, you know, we had the guts to try and film a massive project. And uh, we landed in Banda Aceh and we just, you know, the first few days we were in culture shock. We had never been to Asia before. And here we are in the middle of um, the top of Sumatra and about to cycle the whole of the country. Um, it was just, we were just, well, I know I was just really, uh, I was just taking it as it comes, you know, it was so much fun. Yeah, we're waiting on this deserted pier in the middle of Nias, uh, waiting to catch a boat to us. That's a bloody ship. That's a bloody ship, eh? They're never going to be able to fit the gear on. Might have to leave the bikes here or something, I don't know. Yeah, so we called the project Eat, Sleep, Surf. And so basically we wanted to, you know, break down the surf trip, make it really simple. We'll be just be traveling on our bicycles, um, looking for waves. And as idyllic as that sounds, it ended up being really hard, obviously. You're on a push bike. Where do you leave your, your stuff when you want to go for a surf? You can't just, you can just leave, you can't just leave it on the beach and then surf and then hopefully all your camera gear and all your passport and stuff is still there so we had to figure that out along the trip but the first few days of this trip going south from Band Arche was probably the most hardest and difficult um, couple days I've ever had so it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it's hot as hell we're just climbing this little hill um, we're on our way to Ch Chilang um, yeah wave wise we haven't really been thinking about surfing we've been seeing a few waves and stuff but I'm uh, nothing great um, yeah it's just really hot we're still just getting used to it I've got a heat rash and a numb finger Ryan's suffered from dehydration on the first day but yeah now it's really hot so we'll see if we can get to Chalang um, because we were so unsure we'd never really bicycle toured for this amount of time um, we didn't speak the language very well we had to figure out where can we stay and I remember this clearly the one night we were cooked up, we rocked up to this town right by the beach. We had a quick surf and then we didn't know where to stay. So we asked some locals, you know, is there anywhere we can stay anywhere? And this one guy said, yep, you can stay. I've got a room for you. And basically it was at the back of a kitchen and it was this concrete bunker with a little, you know, 30 by 30 centimeter window. And this isn't too much, this is on just above the equator and it is so bloody hot. Dylan's very hot right now. He's complaining. It's way too but hot. But it is hot. You just I'm sitting here right now and I'm just sweating. I'm sweating like I'm on the bike. We were both completely sunburnt and there was nothing in this room apart from there was nothing in this room. It was just tiles. And so we had to put our mats down and put our mosquito nets up so we didn't get malaria. And it, there was no fan. It was just the hottest, silliest night ever. And the next day we had to keep riding another 50 to 60 kilometers. So that was probably one of the hardest nights I've had. We got through those few hard days. We had a rest day and then we made our way out to the island um, to Simalu. 
which um, has a lot of surf camps on it now. Um, this is almost like eight years ago. So, and we surfed a break called Dylan's and it was awesome. So yeah, have a look. So yeah, it'll be really good to stay in a surf camp. Uh, we've been cycling for three days and it's hard going. But I mean, it is a bit of a disappointment not being able to cycle the whole way. But um, yeah, we, we've bit off a bit more more than we can chew, I think. Yeah, it's pretty pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll give Ryan maybe an hour just to chill by himself. So yeah, I mean, no one's around. Got off the ferry this morning, found this place, and yeah, here we are surfing. Coral is so sharp, eh? I cannot get over how sharp it is. We're almost at the beach now. Yeah, if you want to watch the full, this was the first trip I did on a bicycle. You can actually buy the DVD. We still, we made, we printed DVDs. And so you can actually buy the DVD on our website, eatsleepsurf.com.au. Um, I'll, I'll put a link at the bottom for a discount for all you guys. Um, and you can have a look at it. Um, if you're really into it, it's really cool. Like it was pretty much the first trip I'd ever done on a bicycle. Um, I was really young. Uh, very naive, um, but it was so much fun. Anyway, check out the trailer at least. I think at that time of your life, you have to really push yourself. I mean, we wanted to push ourselves. We wanted, wanted to cycle and surf across Indonesia, which as far as we knew, no one, people had cycled it like in Java and stuff for the world bicycle tours. But as far as going to the places we went, um, yeah, no one had ever really done that before and we did it. So that's what launched Eat Sleep Surf and so we've made this um, TV series. We filmed it, we, I edited it, we produced it. That's how we managed to travel around to even more countries cycling and surfing. So it's, yeah, it was pretty fun. There ain't no parks around here, guys. I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's a Sunday, so it's really bloody busy. Freaking got a good park. Got a great park. Oh, let's get the right thumb on. All right, well, let's go check it out, hey? Oh, yeah. Wow, wow, wee, wow. It is not the best. It's on low tide. You can see down there the guy's jumping out. And it's sort of an east swell, so it's not really breaking through here. There's a peak down there. I might just jump out here, swim out, and then be around there and shoot there. Oh yeah, and I've been playing this. This is a new game, I think, I don't know if anyone's played this before. It's called Pokemon Go. I know, it's sad I know, but I'm addicted to it. Anyway, let's go catch a surf. Catch him. Oh, yeah, I know, I know Pokemon's lame, but it's so addictive this game. Anyway, so today I'm shooting with the seven, I'm shooting with the 70 to 200 mil lens. Okay, well, that was a really challenging bloody um, session. It was really very, very lumpy. So it was, um, yeah, it was hard to get a good shot. I had the long lens on, which helps. So I can zoom right in and get a shot of some surfers, but the conditions just weren't that good. It was breaking everywhere. It was hard to get a shot. Yeah, I didn't put the GoPro on while I took some of the photos. So here are the best photos that I got from that session now. Uh, 
Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, my name is Dylan Brayshaw. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you out there in the surf. Cheers, dudes. It's just mad out here. It's cool though, but mad. <laughs>